Wouldn't it be exciting to be able to see and touch the boat in which Jesus once sailed on the Sea of Galilee? Well, some people say it is possible. An exciting archaeological discovery was made in Israel. A boat was dug up that now is called the Jesus boat. Could it be the real deal? Did Jesus actually sit or even sleep in this boat? Watch this video to find out. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to hear about more exciting archaeological discoveries. A large part of Jesus' ministry took place around the Sea of Galilee, and several of his disciples were fishermen who made their living catching fish in the Sea of Galilee. So it is no wonder fishing boats are mentioned about 40 times in the Gospels. Jesus called his disciples James and John while they were in a boat, preparing their nets. Jesus calmed a dangerous storm after sleeping through it in a boat. Jesus preached from a boat so the people could not crowd him. Jesus walked on the water of the Sea of Galilee to join his disciples in their boat. Jesus crossed the Sea of Galilee in a boat to find a quiet place. So Jesus often used a boat. One of the most famous examples is described in Matthew chapter 14. There it says, Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone. And the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly you are the Son of God. What kind of boat was it that Jesus used? From the Bible it is clear that it were boats used for fishing, and big enough to carry 13 men. However, it is hard to glean more information from the Bible text. But then in 1986 something spectacular happened. Late in January 1986, between the ancient harbors of Geniza and Magdala, local residents made the chance discovery of a boat's oval outline in the muddy lake bed. Word spread like wildfire. In less than two weeks, local newspapers were announcing discovery of the Jesus boat. Did Jesus really perform miracles from this boat? The ones who found the boat on the northwestern shore of the Sea of Galilee were two fishermen, the brothers Moshe and Yuval Lufan. A drought had reduced the level of the sea and exposed some nails. The brothers examined the site and immediately contacted authorities. The Lufan brothers had hoped they would one day discover something wonderful on the Galilee that would enrich their past. Little did they know. The Israel Antiquities Authority and others examined the site. Because of the danger of looters and the rising waters of the Galilee, the team worked day and night for 12 days to rescue the old structure from its mud encasement. When they had uncovered enough to know it was a boat, there was a short torrential downpour followed by a rare and double rainbow, appearing overhead. Many at the site believed this to be a sign from God. Archaeologists, called to examine the still unexcavated vessel, announced it was the first ancient ship ever found in the Sea of Galilee. The style of construction of the boat was consistent with the type of construction described by Roman authors, the Bible, and ancient mosaics. The archaeologists suggested that it was built and used between 100 BC and 100 AD, the time of Jesus. Based on radiocarbon dating, the boat was constructed sometime between 40 BC and 50 AD. It was found to have been made from 10 different types of wood, including cedar and oak, which may indicate that there was a wood shortage, or that the boat was made of scrap wood, or that it had undergone many repairs. Made of scraps of many different types of wood the boat measures 8.2 meter long, 2.3 meter wide and 1.3 meter deep. The planks are joined together by pegged mortise and tenon joints and nails. It has a flat bottom, room for four staggered rowers and a mast for sailing. Indicating that fishermen of the time ate and were out late, inside the boat was found a large broken pot and a small Jewish oil lamp reflecting the style of pottery and lamps, used in Jesus' time. The boat could carry a crew and more than 10 passengers if used as a ferry boat. Or if used as a fishing boat, it could hold about 5 crew members and a catch of 600 pounds up to a ton of fish. Carbon-14 dating on a piece of the wood from the Galilee boat gives 40 AD as its date, plus or minus 80 years. 
Interestingly, the Jesus boat was found in the general area of Gennesaret where Jesus and his disciples landed, after Jesus was seen walking on the waters of the Sea of Galilee. The Bible says in Mark 6. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd, after the miracle of the loaves and fishes. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. Later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake, and he was alone on land. He saw the disciples straining at the oars, because the wind was against them. Shortly before dawn he went out to them, walking on the lake. He was about to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out, because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately he spoke to them and said, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed. When they had crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret and anchored there. Marathon round-the-clock excavations ensued, racing against both now rising waters of the Sea of Galilee and treasure seekers. The archaeologists even invented new techniques of excavation and preservation as they went along. Just before the site was flooded, the almost completely intact hull was fully excavated, encased in polyurethane and floated to shore for further study and conservation. It was then kept in a protective wax bath for 12 years until it was ready for display in the museum. Nowadays it can be seen in the Yigala Lone Museum at Kibbutz Jainizer. But did Jesus really walk on water alongside this boat? Evidence of repeated repairs suggested the boat had a long life, but, in the end, all usable wooden parts were evidently removed and the remaining hull sunk to the lake bottom. This is what archaeologists recovered. Could this be the boat abandoned by the disciples when they followed Jesus? Studies of ancient ships suggest this vessel had a crew of five, four rowers and a helmsman. The ancient Jewish historian Josephus referred to such ships holding fifteen people. Fifteen men could fit into this vessel. So did Jesus and the twelve sail together in this boat? The Galilee boat dated to the general time of Jesus' ministry. It was the type used by Jesus and the twelve, and was large enough to hold them. It may have been in use at the same time he sailed the sea. But, there is no proof that this boat was ever actually used by Jesus or any of the disciples. The historian Josephus wrote that over 200 of these ships were in operation on the Sea of Galilee. Reading the Gospels, it seems likely that Jesus used at least three of them. And there is the possibility that the boat was built after Jesus' time in Galilee. So it is possible that Jesus actually sat in this boat, but the chance is just about 1%. But it is fairly likely that he saw this boat. At the very least, this boat gives us a very reliable picture of the type of boat Jesus used in his ministry. That way, it makes the Bible stories come alive.